to start off, some of you may have noticed that I use one of these on my thumb. This is called a thumb pick. So this is like a regular guitar pick, but instead of having to hold it, uh, it stays on your thumb, uh, like so. And this is my secret weapon when I play the guitar, because this is what allows me to accompany uh, myself on the guitar. So I'm going to give you a little demonstration of what this looks and sounds like. Um, so, what I'm going to play for you now is going to be just my thumb and nothing else, okay? Fingers here, no cheating, just my thumb. Okay? So that's a motor skill that you've got to build up. It's kind of like learning how to ride a bicycle. In that once you learn how to do it, you never forget how to do it. But unlike riding a bicycle, which takes about an afternoon, this takes about 20 years to get good. And how do you know if you're doing it correctly? The answer is if you can get up on the stage in the Dean Crow Theatre bar and keep talking to the audience and not lose the groove, you're probably all right. So after about 20 years, you're ready to move on to step number two. Step number two is bringing in a melody to play over your thumb. So the thumb keeps going and the finger plays a melody on top of this. That sounds like this. solid and steady and your fingers play over it and this is a very versatile style of playing the guitar you can play a lot of different musical styles for example if you're into classical music or if you're into pop songs from the 1950s into piano music like Scott Joplin. not all you can do it. I feel like I'm on the shopping, you know, the shopping ads that come on late at night. That's not all. It, it's not all you can do with it because what I've done up to now is I've kept my thumb really straight and I've played melodies over the thumb. Time of year, right? So if you can keep your thumb straight and play melodies, but you can turn this on its head as well. You can keep your fingers really straight. make your thumb play the melody instead.
can keep your thumb really straight and you can play a melody over that. You can keep your fingers really straight and play a melody in the thumb, or you can play two melodies at the same time. But where this style has its roots, where it actually comes from, is a very, very old style of guitar playing. It started in Muhlenberg County in Kentucky with people like Merle Travis, who was a radio star of the 1940s. And he used to have songs like, uh, you might know, um, The Nine Pound Hammer. It's a little too heavy for my size. But for my size, I'm going up the mountain just to see my baby. But I ain't coming back. No, I ain't coming back. Go on, buddy. Why don't you go so slow? Chet Atkins came along and he had some training with classical guitar and a little bit of flamenco and he refined that style completely because up to then it was just like six ten tons what did you get you get on the day older deeper in debt so beat it on your call cause I won't go I own my soul to the company store and Chet Atkins came along and made it sound like this that style has progressed. A lot of people have gotten the style, put their own stamp on it. And where I came across this, strangely, you might not believe this, but at my grandmother's funeral, that's where I came across this style. Because a cousin of mine came up to me and he said, I heard you started playing the guitar. Here's a guitar player you should check out. His name is Tommy Emmanuel. And I said, okay, so YouTube was in its infancy at the time. So I went onto YouTube and I googled, or I looked up, Tommy Emmanuel. And I heard him playing this tune, but I didn't hear him playing it at this speed. I heard him playing it at this speed. 